Yo, what's up? It's your guy Jovio, and today, today we are playing a game called To Hell with Dave. Cause nobody likes Dave. I'm sorry, Dave, but I don't like you, bro. I don't. They don't like you. Do you guys like Dave? Let me know. Let me know if you guys like Dave. Because personally, nobody likes Dave. I'm sorry, Dave. It's not my fault. But nobody likes you, Dave. I'm sorry. But before that, remember to smack that subscribe button, dude. Cause like. We need those subs, we're almost at 1k, can you not tell? Like, we are so close to 1k, dude. So close. We, we need to get to 1k, so please. Please and thank you. Thank you. Remember, to, you know, smack the like button, too, because, like, likes help, you know, you know? And then leave the comment. Let me know what you guys think of Dave. Bro. And hit the notification bell, too, because, you know, why not, bro? You need to be notified when awesome vids like this come out, dude. Now, let's get into this. We gotta choose our fetish. Normal or easy panty sniff? Well, well, I'm not a panty sniffer, so we're gonna go with normal. We're gonna go with normal. Alright, let's get into it. Dave's bedroom, August 18th, 1989. Captain Teddy, sir! Well done, comrade. It's a very dangerous mission, but we don't have a choice. Let's get this bastard. Oh, snap, we're shooting lobs, bro. We got lobs coming. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a fruit fairy? Bro, it's a... It's Dude, what the? Did you just try to kill me? The freaky looking tooth fairy, dude. What's gonna happen? Is this how you greet an old friend? I'm sorry, Mr. Toothfairy. Just shut your pie hole, buddy. You know why I'm here. Yes, Mr. Toothfairy. I still owe you two of my teeth. You're god darn right. You still owe me two of those little tasty treats. Let's not waste any time. There's a hell of a trip. We have to grind through the portal. I bet the gnome's, gnome's drunk off his arse again. And it won't be a pretty sight. What? I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Okay, look. Let me explain. Where the hell are you coming with me? It's gonna be awesome. In the story. Alright. What's that look for? You can at least pretend to be excited. Give a darn what you want. I wasn't asking, but is this how you think of me? I treated you like a son. I don't know, Mr. Tooth Fairy. Listen, I don't need this crap. Just give me those god darn teeth and we're off. They're still in the mouth. Excellent. They taste so much better when they're fresh and pulled. Oh snap. oh snap! Oh snap! He just, he just took his teeth, dude. Today. Alright, it's today. We at school? We must be at school. Oh. Alright, class. Take your seats and quiet down. Good morning, Mrs. Coacher! Uh, good morning, students. Actually, good uh, might not be the right word. I had a horrible weekend. Mrs. Coacher, can you children sing a song for you? Maybe that'll make you feel better. We're not here to have fun, Ralphie. And stop bothering the class. We have a guest with us today. His name is Mr. Jesus, and he wants to tell you an epic strategy. That's something like, like a fairy tale, but where everyone dies in the end. And you little buggers always love it when everybody dies in the end. Isn't that right, class? Oh, I ask for your opinion. What do we say to the teacher when she asks a question or when the teacher shut up? Stop it, I didn't mess up. Yes, Mrs. Culture? My dear children, may the grace of the Lord be with you. But not with you, Mrs. Kochi. I know what you did at the pawn party. The worst of all unforgivable sins. 
The truth can be as painful as a crown of thorns. Remember that, my blessed ones. Remember that you always follow the path of righteousness. A life will stick a finger up your butt and make you smell it. Ugh. I can already tell this is going to be good. So let's start at the very beginning. Because every story has to start somewhere. To hell with Dave! Because nobody likes Dave! We already went over this. No one likes Dave. We all have dreams. We all will come true someday. And it seems to be a destiny that our heart aches for something this world cannot offer. They can knew these feelings. Among all the slayers of hell, he was the only one who felt anything at all. He was different from the others, who were tempted by Satan and did unholy things all day. He saw the world through different eyes, like a butterfly in a cage full of moles. But do you think a mole cares about the exciting and beautiful things a butterfly would have to say? No way, children! Moles only care about their mole stuff. Endless weeks, months, and years went by until the night when baking grabbed everything and just ran away. For the first time in his life, he was free, but he felt horrible and more lonely than ever. When on the blink of collapse, he spotted the distant silhouette of the castle against the starry sky. And Bacon knew the right way that this wasn't just the place he was looking for. This place had also been looking for him. Oh, if only he would have known the fate of the entire world would soon rest in his body. It was late at night when Bacon arrived at the library time, and freezing cold drops blew across the floor. It was completely quiet, except for the whispering of sand through the countless woes of hourglasses. Who knows that? What are they meant? Are you looking for a job or something? Maybe you should talk to Father Time. He's upstairs in the tower. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And have a fabulous day. Wait a minute. What happened to your helmet? I'm glad you noticed. I had it painted. Pink is in now. You look like crap, Russell. Probably not. Greg, sweetie. Shut your dirty mouth, okay? Visit Father Time in the tower. But don't mind if I do. Go into the tower. I can move. Little footsteps. Oh, snap. Okay. It's time to visit Father Time. <laughs> Get what I did there? Use the clock. Time to visit Father Time. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got it. You got it. Oh! We got it. We got it. How do we jump? We got to do some hardcore parkour. Uh, I figured out how to jump! We did it! We y'all! We y'all! We y'all! We y'all! We y'all! We y'all! I don't want to die. No. I wonder if I fall if I die. We're good. We're good. We're about to be- Oh! Keep out. No. You know what? I want to go in. How do I go in? Oh, I made it in! I made it in! Oh! Hey, I- This is father time. I guarantee this is father time, dude. 100% father time right here, dude. Easily father time. Let's the soccer. It was what's up father? What's up father time? How you been? Uh, you again. <laughs> Back already? Did you forget something? I said Did you bring the golden hair? You don't know anything about the golden hair? Pardon me. I must have mistaken you for someone else. I've had so many of you coming by, it's impossible to tell the difference. Why are you here then? Are you looking for something? You're lonely, searching for a place in life? Isn't there something more important you should be doing right now? Since you don't seem busy, you can do me a favor. 
Bring me the feather duster from the closet downstairs. My hourglass on the table over there needs to be dusted, and I can hardly hear the trickling of the sand. But be careful, my boy! No matter what you do, don't stand in your own way. That would end up pretty bad. Bravo! Get feather duster from the Great Hall. Alright. Gotta go get a feather duster, bruh. Where's the Great Hall? Is this a Great Hall? Whoa! Alright. Not a feather duster. Help me find a feather duster. Do you guys see a feather? Oh! Oh, what's in here? Is it? Oh! We found a feather! Oh! We found the feather duster. Alright. Alright, we got the feather duster. We're all good. We gotta go back to Father Tom and see what he wants. Alright, let's, let's see what Father Tom got to say. Yo, what's up, Father Tom? Nice to see you again. Oh, oh snap. Oh, you again? Do you have the golden hair with you? A feather duster? Why do I need a feather duster? This man. This man told me. Did you guys just not see? This man told me he needs a feather duster. I go waste my time, do my work to get this man a feather duster. And this is what he does. Dude. I'm not your cranky gravy. None of this made sense, Bacon. Yo, why? No wonder. No wonder nobody likes Dave. And he's not even Dave, he's Bacon. Think about how bad Dave's gonna be. The old man was clearly confused, so he decided to fulfill his original request. He would polish the hourglass until it shined with the blinding brilliance. Clean the hourglass? on the table well guys we're actually gonna end it there i know i know you guys want to see what happens with the hourglass that's why do not worry i will be making another video of the rest of this because this this is a great game this is one of the this is the best game i've ever been it's not the best I, I love the story though so far it's pretty darn good and i know you guys are gonna want to see it so do not worry it will be up in a couple days so so if it's gonna be up in a couple days then that means you should subscribe Hit the notification bell, like this video, and that way, if you're notified, you won't miss the next video. Lucky there, dudes. Well, stay awesome, dudes, and uh, I will see you in the next one.